New sunscreen day. This is the Polish Choice SPF 55% Vitamin C Sheer Moisturizer, which I think they just came out with this summer. It's summer 2024. And I've been very curious. Uh, sunscreen with vitamin C in it is a trending ingredient in vitamin C. I mean, in sunscreen this, this year. I think this is the first one I've tried with vitamin C in it. It sounds very liquidy. <laughs> This is an all chemical sunscreen with avobenzone, octinoxate, octosalate, and octocrylene. It should not leave a white cast. It should be very invisible on the skin, weightless, a more elegant formula than if it had a mineral UV filter. The last Polish Choice sunscreen review I did, y'all loved. Thank you so much for the views <laughs> and the shares and the likes and the comments on that video. Polish Choice is a good brand for a good reason. Excellent formulas. This is the third one I've tried this summer. I was a little late jumping onto the Polish Choice bandwagon, but I'm fully here for it now. <laughs> fully here for it. Quarter of a teaspoon face, quarter of a teaspoon ears and neck. It's actually slightly orange. <laughs> okay, there it is. It also went through my fingers and it's coming out the other side. We're just gonna dump it all in my hand at this point. I would measure this one out if you get it because two fingers, it's such a thin formula. It's gonna be difficult for you to measure this one out, in my opinion. And like I said, it is slightly like a beigey orange tint. Look at that though, it goes on clear. It feels like water. To be honest, it feels like water on the face. Okay. Fragr fragrance rate? I think so. It just smells like a pool float. So I think that's just the ingredient. That's not the ingredients. In the bottle, I'm not gonna put it around my eyes. My eyes tend to be sensitive to octosalate. Yep, octosalate is in there. Uh, they have added the vitamin C to help reduce the signs of dark spots. This is an old zit that I named Fred from like a month ago that's still hanging around. So hopefully that'll help reduce the darkness of the acne scar. That was so nice. That went on seamlessly. It just feels like water. Hm. All right, I'm gonna put some more on my ears and my neck. You probably saw me reapply some more on my face there at the end. It's because I realized that it had pulled in the bottom of this and I hadn't seen that I hadn't used all of the quarter of a teaspoon up on my face. Sorry. This is drying super fast. It just looks like natural skin. It is slightly glowy, but not in an artificial glow, if that makes sense. Uh, more of in a freshly cleansed, freshly moisturized skin. This is fantastic. Fantastic dry down time. All right, let's apply some makeup on top and see how makeup sits on top, but I don't expect there to be any issue whatsoever. The only skincare I had before I placed my sunscreen on was the Indie Lee CoQ10 toner. Okay. Full face of makeup on. I used my tried and true Misha BB cream number 21, SPF 42. Perfect cover BB cream. Love, love, love. Almost, almost out of this one. I have a backup though. <laughs> um, yeah, like I suspected, it set beautifully on top of the sunscreen. My face still does feel a little tacky. I'm excited to continue wearing this for the rest of the week. And I love that it is SPF 50. Look at that. It's already ready for fall. It's pumpkin orange and I've got on my red. I'm ready for fall. Hi, I'm Sean, Melon and my mom here, and I am going to give you my final thoughts on wearing the Paula's Choice SPF 55% Vitamin C Sheer Moisturizer for a total of four days. I've completely used it up. <laughs> While you're here, please consider subscribing to my channel. It is completely free and helps my channel out so much. You will get notifications when I post two new videos every week. Thank you very, very much. So I picked up a little three pack of trial sunscreens. Um, I've got two here and then there was a third one for a great price that Paula's Choice is constantly running sales. You all told me that, my viewers. Paula's Choice frequently has 20% off sales. I suggest buying directly from their website. <laughs> because of the fabulous cells. I also, when I purchased this little three pack of trial sizes, they sent me a free moisturizer, full size free moisturizer, just for purchasing, which was fantastic. 
So although this is the trial size that I'm showing you, I'm gonna pop up the price of the full size, which is two fluid ounces right up here on the screen, as well as the price per ounce, because it is a better deal if you get the two fluid ounces. But if you just wanna try and you don't know which sunscreen is right for you, one, I hope this video helps you out. I have done other Paula Choice sunscreen reviews. I will link it in a card either up here and it definitely will be linked in the description box of this video. So I recommend getting a little trial kit to try them out. This was so lightweight, so liquidy, so fluidy. Fluidy, is that a word? No. <laughs> so fluid. Uh, you don't feel it on your skin. It is fantastic. Really, I really enjoyed this one. The hero ingredients in the sunscreen are 5% vitamin C, acetyl ginger one, algae derived amino acids that protect, hydrate, and visibly brighten the skin. It says it's for all skin types. I would agree with that. If you have drier skin, you might want to put extra moisturizer underneath this one. I did not. I just used a toner and applied it. I'm going to pop up some more information about the ingredients here on the screen. The active UV filters in the sunscreen are avobenzone, octanoxate, octosalate, and octocrylene. My eyes tend to be sensitive to octosalate, so therefore I did not put it around my eye area. Your eyes might be fine fine with octosalate. This does have a glowy finish, but it's not super glowy. It's more of a natural hydrated glow in my opinion. Just look like freshly washed and moisturized face. And it looked absolutely gorgeous. Went smoothly under any makeup I put on top of it. I tested it on three of my foundations, all three of my foundations. If not, I tested it on two and it just looked absolutely gorgeous. I think this is a great product. Do I recommend it? Yes, especially if you have acne prone skin and you need help in lightening those dark spots. That's what, that is what the vitamin C and other ingredients in this are going to do is lighten those discolored areas. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.